Good morning friends. I hope everyone is doing well. I request everyone to watch my videos in a sequence for better understanding. If you really like my teaching and my efforts, please press the like button, share the videos with your friends, subscribe to my channel and also press the bell button to get the regular updates. In this video, I want to discuss about TCP congestion control. How the transmission con protocol TCP is what transmission control protocol will do the congestion control. Okay, before discussing about the congestion control, let me discuss why the flow control alone cannot handle the entire data transfer. Meaning is that if you are doing the flow control also, still the packets will be dropped. Why it is I will discuss. Let's take that you have a sender and you have a receiver. Now sender has the maximum segment size is, let's take that 500 bytes. Receiver maximum segment size is 100 bytes. During the TCP protocol, it is a connection establishment is there, data transfer is there and connection termination is there. During connection establishment, sender will send its maximum segment size to the receiver and similarly, receiver also will send its maximum segment size to the sender. Similarly, it will key allocate a buffer, sender and receiver will allocate a buffer to receive the information from each other. So sender will allocate a buffer to receive the information from the receiver, Sen receiver will allocate a buffer to receive the information from the sender. Are you able to understand it or not? So even they will share the advertisement window. Suppose let's take that it has kept the advertisement window as 600 bytes and this has kept the wind advertisement window size as 800 bytes. Then what will happen? First they will decide what will be the maximum segment size. This is 100 bytes, this is 500 bytes. They will take the minimum and they will exchange the information as each segment consists of only 100 bytes of information. Now what is the use of this advertisement window? Of the sender and receiver sender if the receiver advertisement window is 800 sender can send eight segments at a time will you accept with me or not because receiver is saying that i can receive up to 800 bytes of information and one segment size is 100 bytes so you can send eight segments at a time are you able to understand similarly let's take that receiver can send six segments at a time now what will happen is that now the sender and receiver are there in a networks. Obviously sender and receivers will be there in a networks. Am I right? In a real time. Now sender is sending 8 segments at a time to the receiver. But obviously these packets has to go via network to a router and this one. If this network is very traffic is there. This network could not able to send 8 segments. Some packets are dropped or because of the router the packets are dropped then what will happen again retransmission will happen am i right or wrong if again retransmission will happen what will happen again the more packets are coming am i right or more segments is coming which will increase the number of packets in the network or the number of segments in the network so this will increase the traffic in the network am i right or wrong so this congestion will Hap, what, what will happen is that the more packets will be dumped into the network. Are you able to understand? So, how to handle this situation? Because the flow control will talk about the sender and receiver capability. They does not talk about the network capability. So, you should worry about the network capability also. Now, let me discuss how to do the congestion control or how the TCP protocol will do the congestion control. Let's take that sender is sending, can send 8 segments at a time, meaning is that in our example we have discussed that one segment size is 100 MB and receiver is advertising a 800 bytes as advertisement window. So sender can send 8 segments but however it does not know the capability of the network. So what it will do is that first it will send one segment. 
meaning is that network or the congestion window is one means one segment only you can send and sender window size is eight but however minimum you will take what is the minimum one so sender will send one segment to the receiver via the network if then acknowledgement comes then what it will do it will send the two segments because now the window size of the congestion will be two and this is eight so you will send two segments if the two segments acknowledgement also came because it is a cumulative acknowledgement if one acknowledgement comes then it is successful next time it will send four segments is it clear so here it will be four and here it is eight then the small is four so you will send four segments if the four segments the acknowledgement also came meaning is that the four segments are successfully delivered to the receiver and also you get the acknowledgement meaning is that the network can still send the segments the network capability is not four segments it can send more now what you will do is that you will make it to five segments you can ask me sir up to four you made it as two power zero two power one two power two next it should be eight because it sender can send eight window size we will try whether it is eight or not no why we have to make it to five is that if the sender window size is eight you will take eight by two is equal to four four is your threshold value remember this point threshold is sender window size by 2 which is equal to in our example 8 by 2 is equal to 4 till the threshold you will increase the window size exponentially so that's we will call it as a slow start phase i will discuss about slow start phase up to threshold you will increase the window size exponentially after the threshold value you will increment by linearly like meaning is that once you got the threshold value 4 next time you will send 5 segments if you get an acknowledgement next time you will send 6 segments if you get the acknowledgement meaning is that the network will still can send you will send 7 segments next time if acknowledgement comes you will send 8 segments are you able to understand that is what at this point sender is able to send what is its capability so that's why we'll call it as a slow start phase so why it is doing is that so till let's take that how many segments it is saying suppose let's take that first it is sending one segment then two then four like that it is sending up to threshold value after threshold value you will increment up to linearly up to the maximum segment size of the sender am i right or wrong so this phase we will call it as slow start phase because we are starting with one segment then two then four up to threshold we are going are you able to understand and then after that we are incrementing by one so this phase we will call it as congestion avoidance phase Conjunction avoidance phase are you able to understand it or not is it clear now you can ask me one question sir you are sending four segments five segments you are telling that acknowledgement is coming means you are talking in a positive point of view then you are increment seven eight it is happening let's take that let's take an example that sender capability is eight segments so the threshold value is 8 by 2 is equal to 4 am i right so first sender will send one segment let's take that acknowledgement came next you are saying that it will send two segments acknowledgement came am i right next it send four segments next it send four segments that is what we said let's take that these packets acknowledgement did not came are you able to understand or your meaning is that these packets are dropped now these packets are dropped we can come to know in two ways one is that let's take that you send a segment four okay now 
once you send a segment you will keep a timeout timer am i right or wrong now with the help of three duplicate acknowledgements we can come to know that this segment could not able to deliver to the destination or it has to wait up to the timeout timer then also it will come to know that this segment is not delivered to the destination am i right or wrong in transmission control protocol using the three duplicate packets we will call it as early detection mechanism we can identify that the segment is not delivered so instead of waiting up to here here only we can retransmit the segment am i right let's take that your segment is not delivered and you came to know about this information in two ways one is that with the early detection or with the help of timeout timer meaning is that early detection meaning is that you got a three duplicate acknowledgements if even you did not get the three duplicate acknowledgements so you got the timeout timer so if it is so what will happen then we it will go to the this phase we will call it as if packets are not delivered to the destination we will call it as congestion detection means we have to detect there is a congestion this congestion detection if it is three duplicate packets means you are early detection is done then what will happen is that the threshold value first the threshold value will change what will be the threshold value you send four segments it was not delivered so now the new threshold value will be 4 by 2 is equal to 2 previously the threshold value is 4 am i right or wrong so up to 4 we will increment exponentially but when i send the four segments there is a error congestion is i have able to detect so it can be detected by using the three duplicate acknowledgement or timeout if any of this case first we have to find the new threshold value what is the new threshold value which is equal to 4 by 2 is equal to 2 now remember one thing if it is early detection then what you will do is that you will send two segments if it is delivered next you will send three segments if it is delivered you will send four segments because you are not going to the slow start phase whereas in the time out even the new threshold value is 4 it will start sending with one segment then two segments because the threshold value is 2 so next time what it will do it will make it 3 4 so here you are going to the slow start phase here you are not going to the slow start phase you are sending the because you came to know that four segments was not delivered so now you delivered previously two segments so 4 by 2 you will send two segments then three you are going for the congestion avoidance phase if it is time out you will go to the slow start phase this is very very important point remember this one if the congestion detection is happened because of the time out meaning is that even the acknowledgements are lost meaning is that there is a heavy traffic is there in the network so better you send one segment then we'll go for the exponentially then go for the linearly so this phase we will call it as a slow start phase if it is early detection only segment is lost but however you could able to receive the acknowledgement so you will go to the congestion avoidance phase is it clear are you able to understand let me discuss with another example so that you will understand the concept in a better way let's take that sender can send up to 32 segments okay now first what it will do it will send one segment am i right first we need to find the threshold value 32 by 2 which is equal to 16 so threshold value is 16 so it will send one segment the one segment is delivered next two segments delivered 4 8 okay 16 like that we will send if they are delivered we will send 17 18 19 20 like that are you able to understand it or not so this is what we will call it as 
slow start phase and this is congestion avoidance phase is it clear let's take that this is normal process let's take that in the same example you send eight segments in the eight segments if the congestion is detected with the help of timeout okay then what will be the new threshold value you send eight segments they could not able to deliver so the new threshold value will be 8 by 2 is equal to 4 are you able to understand once it goes to the congestion detection with the help of timeout timer then what it should do it should go for the what slow start phase so again it will send one segment then two segments then four segments then it will send because after the threshold value is increased then it will go for the congestion avoidance so 5 6 7 8 9 like that it will go up to 32 segments are you able to understand it or not however let's take that this eight segments you lost because of the one segment is lost but you still you got the three duplicate acknowledgements so you early detected is happened so then what you will do is that obviously the threshold value is same four only instead of sending one segment two segment you will send four segments because previously you sent four segments four segments are delivered successfully when you send eight segments it was not delivered so you will send four segments if it is delivered then you will make it five six seven eight nine like that so it is going for the congestion avoidance phase I hope you have understood how the TCP control or sorry TCP protocol will do the congestion control and what is a slow start phase, what is a congestion avoidance phase, what is a congestion detection phase, how it will detect with the help of timeout, with the help of three duplicate packets. If you still have any doubts related to this concept, feel free to ask me in the comment section. I will try to clear your doubts in less than 24 hours. If you really like my teaching, and my efforts please press the like button share the videos with your friends subscribe to my channel thank you for watching my video have a nice day